everyone, Eva here. In this video, I'll show you how to hang a Pollywood porch swing. To demonstrate, I'll be using the Vineyard 60 inch porch swing. I'll take you through the process from beginning to end, from the materials and tools you'll need beforehand to the actual installation of the porch swing. I've already got mine assembled. All we have to do is hang it. Let's get started. Before you start, we recommend having a few materials on hand to make your installation a little easier an adjustable wrench, some measuring tape, a ladder, and included in your order are four separate chain links and six quick link connectors. And we recommend having a friend or two standby. Now it's time to ensure that you have adequate space to hang your porch swing. A load bearing beam or ceiling joist on your covered porch or a freestanding frame will work perfectly. The joist will need adequate support on both sides. So on the thicker side, ideally a two by six or two by eight. You're gonna wanna make sure you have plenty of clearance for your swing. The golden rule is three to four feet on the front and the back and at least a foot on the sides. Use your tape measure to find the dimensions, ensuring that you have enough space to hang your swing. You may have already attached your chains to the swing since that's in the assembly instructions. However, if you haven't, no big deal. I'm gonna show you how to do it now. Four eye bolts are attached to your porch swing two mounting points on each side that you added when you assembled the swing. Grab a length of chain and thread one end through the prefabricated hole located at the front of the swing's armrest. Use a quick link to secure the end of the chain to the eye bolt located right below the hole on the side of the seat. Take the other end of the same chain and secure it to the eye bolt located at the back of the armrest with a quick link. Repeat this process on the other side of your swing. Now use a quick link to connect one end of the two remaining chain sections to the middle link of either chain that's already attached to the swing. It should look like an upside down Y shape. Repeat this process on the other side of your swing. Your next step is installing your mounting hardware. Remember, your mounting hardware is sold separately, so you have to purchase those items beforehand. As you can see, my mounting hardware is already installed. For those of you installing at home, be sure to install your mounting hardware four to six inches wider than the length of the swing, armrest to armrest. If you're not comfortable installing your own mounting hardware, be sure to talk to a professional and see if they can help. Now it's time to hang our swing. These swings can be a little heavy, so I've enlisted the help of my friend Rory. Porch swings should hang about 17 to 19 inches above the floor, so use your tape measurer once more to find the right height. Lift the swing and hold it at that height while you connect the ends of the two chains to the mounting hardware. Now that our porch swing is hung, if you find you need to adjust the pitch of the swing for comfort, you can do so here at this quick link by moving this chain forward and backwards one at a time. One last thing, make sure you check your work. Make sure all the hardware connections are secure. Use your wrench to double check that quick links are completely screwed closed. Ensure the height and recline are to your liking and the same length on both sides. Now it's time to kick back and relax and enjoy your Pollywood porch swing with your friends and family. Here you go.